Check it, check it, check it. Welcome to Street Flames Crew. And today we're going to talk about Young Dolph and CMJ. This is not your average conversation. Listen, check it. Young Dolph was always outnumbered. When you look at it, <clears throat> everybody was against him. We all know that from day one. He wasn't from there, got his little money, got some real money, got some big money, and started popping it. Because when he didn't have it, motherfuckers was talking shit about him. Shit, we all go through that shit at times. We really do. We all go through it at times. But this was a different type of hatred. This was this was a, this was selective politics, and this that's what you call that. They wanted him out the way, like they wanted him out the way. Just look at how everybody moving. Look at the way. I'm talking about on the other side. Look at the way black youngster moving. Look at the way Gotti moving. Money bag, yo. They popping their shit now. They talking real money. You got, you got, uh, yo Gotti. This is my pen. This is what I think. This is all allegedly. You got, you got yo Gotti. He sit there. He sit there and start giving out where he bought a crib at and stuff now. Where he bought a crib at in Atlanta, allegedly. And you got Black Youngster shoot him in his face. His new song's called Paparazzi. Black Youngster, Il Gotti, and ESTG. Shout out to all of them. Rest in peace, dog. But what I'm saying is, the way them niggas talking, it just don't make no motherfucking sense at all. And it's like, they talking reckless. They talking for real. And it's like, they let niggas know they not playing no games and they staying on business or whatever the situation may be. But just the way Black Youngster talking, like Black Youngster, he put you in a hideout. He put Black Youngster in a hideout. Young Dolph single-handedly put Black Youngster in a hideout. And that's no cat. He put him in a hideout. He was in a hideout for like two years. I know he lost his brother and all that and all that. But, you know, rest in peace to all the people that lost their lives due to this gang violence, due to this street violence, due to whatever it may be, you know. Not trying to incriminate nobody in no way, shape, fit, or fashion, or form. But... I'm just saying what's on my mind, the way I listen to these songs, and the way I was listening to the songs that Dolph produced, and he said that, and he put out even Key Glock Pop and this shit. He just had, a, you know, just had a lot of snakes around him, man. And the way he died, it just showed you that everybody was a snake. Everybody was a snake. And it just don't make no sense. How your own people you grew up with, you split food with, you get money with, like you never leave their side. But at the end of the day, they still have a relationship with other people. And they pick and choose a side over money or over. We don't just say money, but we say it be in need of money, degree. And it's just like, it'll be making no sense. Like, how can you get somebody killed that you supposedly love when you knew all your life? Never understood that. But make sure you just let me know in the comment section what you think. Make sure you like, share, do whatever you're going to do. I'm out.